I mean, when it's a, the question of what do you want to say is a question that comes up often um, if you're a filmmaker. And I think that usually is a some, somehow meaning, you know, what, what sentence does the audience come out thinking? What's the take out? And in a way, I don't really, I never think about it in those terms because it's, I think about it much more in terms of an experience and what the experience of watching it does to you, not necessarily even at, at the level of, you know, something that you could write down or, or say, but just what it does to you emotionally or, or how it opens up your thinking. And, and in a sense, I think that all, for me, the, the, the task of everything that I've done is, is usually to create a certain kind of empathy with characters that, that that's that's like that represents a real encounter that you, you feel that you've been with those people in some way that's in a way more immediate than you can ever be with somebody in the cut and thrust of real life that that movies allow you this concentrated exposure to somebody else's presence and i suppose to the extent that like empathy is the basis of any good politics there is a political dimension to that there's a kind of you hope, I, I hope that, that the films are humanizing in a way. In terms of the issues that that room deals with, I think it's, it's pretty quiet on that because there is very little to say about the, case, the real cases it, that, that isn't just at the level of the human experience. I mean, we, it's not like anybody, I mean, if you wanna make a film about the Republican Party now, that, has a, that would have a big point to make that would be relevant to, to or about about the way the state operates that has a big role to to play in how we deal with it and, and my um tom's film which i absolutely love uh makes you think about institutions and how institutions function and and that sort of thing happens so many in so many cases and it does wake you up to those to those uh, patterns and and dangers i think nobody thinks that what happens to the mother and son in room would ever be anything other than awful um, so, so there isn't in that same way an obvious issue that it addresses. I mean, I think it is, it gives you pause when you think that there are, I am certain, cases like this going on right now. And maybe one other way in which it has something to say in that sense is about how the media approach um, cases like this. But I think we, anybody in this room would feel the same. It's not a hard argument to make to the audience of this film that the media are, um, you know, exploitative and, and prurient and all those things. So I think really for me, the, what I want to do with the film is to make you feel more deeply about the relationships you have with the people that you love. I mean, that's really what the film is about. Um, and, and had anybody come to me and said, we'd like to make a film about, you know, the Cleveland case, for example, which, you know, which takes it from the abduction to the first weeks to the absolutely no way would I have interest in, an interest in doing that any more really than I would have at filming a, a, a car crash or something. It's so, uh, I think there, there are, of course, other films that one could make, but you would always have to find something in the situation that allows you to talk more universally, more humanely, um, and that's really what I think drew me to, to Emma's novel because it's such an unusual use of a situation like this.